going on guys? Chase on two wheels here. I gotta be honest, I'm a little nervous, but I'm very excited to talk to you guys about something today that I really haven't talked a lot about on this channel before. Uh, a couple months back, Mountain Motorsports, the guys that let me borrow the bikes and do all the first rides with them, they came to me and asked me if I wanted to do side-by-side -side first rides. If you guys aren't familiar with what side-by-sides are, there are these giant off-road monstrosities. It was an awesome opportunity, but it's just not really something I'm interested in right now, not something I wanted to bring into the channel just yet. So if you're one of those guys that has watched a ton of my videos, you've probably heard me talk about how cinematography and running my own video production company is like a, that's my big pipe dream in the sky type thing. Uh, I really take my cinematography seriously, and if you guys have probably noticed, hopefully you have, that my product reviews, my first rides, like, I take the cinematography level a little higher than what a lot of the automotive guys do. Uh, and that's because that's my true passion. And that's that's my big thing that I wanna do at some point in my life. So that being said, I went to Mountain and I was like, hey, I don't want to bring in the side-by-side -side first rides just yet, but what if you guys hired me to film a series that you guys can put on your own YouTube channel, call it First Rides and have this awesome side-by-side -side First Rides series going on on your YouTube channel. So long story short, after a ton of meetings with Mountain Motorsports, they actually agreed to fund the pilot episode of this First Ride series. If you guys don't know what pilots are, they're basically the first episode of a series Everybody checks it out. If everybody likes the pilot, you move on with the whole series. So they're funding the pilot episode. We did this months ago, obviously, but the video's finished. It's actually live on their channel right now. There's gonna be top link in the description if you guys wanna go check out what the final video ended up being. But this video is bringing you guys along through the process of making that video because it was absolutely crazy. And I thought it was pretty cool to bring you guys along with me. Actually, I take that back. You guys go watch the mountain video now, and that way you'll see what the final product was, and then when you watch this video, you'll actually be able to understand what it ended up being, if that makes sense. So you guys go watch that video, and then come back here and finish this one up. So for this pilot episode, Kawasaki let us borrow two of their Tarek side-by-sides. We had a bright orange one to use as the car Trace drove, Trace, by the way, is the host of the pilot episode that we shot. We also had a second Terex that was rigged up as the camera car with all these rails. You'll see why we put all those rails on it soon, but we used the blue one as the follow car to the orange one. What's interesting about side-by-side -side first rides is that they aren't like motorcycles. You can't just take one for a spin down the road. We actually had to go to a place called Highland Park, which is an off-road park on the west side of Georgia, to ride them around. The day we went was in like the middle of the week in the middle of winter, so there was next to nobody there that day, which actually ended up working out really well. I have to say though, after riding around all day in one of these things, I can totally understand why they are so popular. One of the main reasons I wanted to take this project on was to get outside of my comfort zone. You guys have seen my first rides and know I'm very comfortable with filming them, but trying to do that in an off-road environment is an entirely different beast. You have a million more bumps, crazy elevation changes, and it's so freaking bumpy, which is terrible for smooth video. Because of this, I ended up renting a ton of camera gear that would help make the footage more stable, even in these crazy environments. The pilot episode of this was really meant to be similar to my first drive videos. Cinematic shots of the vehicle in the beginning, followed by the host riding the vehicle around and talking about it, and then ending the video with some final thoughts of what they thought about the vehicle. We started the day at sunrise and got some gorgeous shots of the Terex to use during the cinematic segment. I think these turned out really good. It was almost worth getting up at the butt crack of dawn. Now, I told you guys Trace was the host of this episode, but he has never done the whole like riding in a helmet and talking to himself. And I gotta say, I was honestly surprised at how well he did with the whole talking to himself in a helmet after some coaching, of course. Filming that part wasn't bad though. Just strap a GoPro onto a helmet that we had mic'd up and send Trace off on his way to ride around the perimeter road of Highland Park. What made this video specifically hard to film was the follow shots. Check out the rig that we had to put on the blue Terex. Watch the rig jump all around and compare that to the video that actually came out of the camera. <laughs> In 
Is that not insane? Trust me, it was also absolutely terrifying to do that with rented gear. Like, can you imagine like, hey man, we went off a cliff with all your expensive camera gear, so insurance. Oh, and if you're wondering where all the cool helmets we were wearing came from, Troy Lee was actually one of the sponsors for the video and provided both me and Luke with a full set of gear. Thank God too, because before the shoot, I had zero off-road gear. Also, their gear looks solid. I don't know what it is about motocross gear with goggles makes you look cool, at least in my opinion. You'd be shocked with how fast a day can go by. We only had time to do two follow car runs. The first one, we mounted the camera to the front of the Terex. That was actually the first time we'd ever done that. And the second run, we ended up putting it in this sketchy spot on the rear. We got the rear rigged up. We were gonna put it here, but look how much clearance we have on the back. It's slightly sketchy. It's a little more sketchy than I wanna be, but I mean like it physically can't go any farther. We actually barely finished with enough light to shoot the outro. It ended up working out pretty well since the sun was going down while we were filming the outro, but if we shot 15 minutes later, we would have had to really get creative with how we were gonna do that shoot because we were running out of light quick. Looking back on this project, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I definitely learned a ton. I can't wait to put that into the future videos that I make. Not only did we film the entire day, but we were also shooting for the behind the scenes of the shoot, and I have hours and hours of footage from it, but I'm honestly not really sure what to do with it. That actually brings up an internal struggle that I've personally been having with this channel is with filming and cameras and stuff like that being such a major part of my life and my main passion, do I start bringing that into the channel for the channel to be more about me, obviously with like a motorcycle twist, or do I keep the channel just motorcycle related with rec bike rebuild, gear reviews, and first rides? It's kind of something I'm internally struggling with. And it also makes me wonder like, what do I do with all this behind the scenes footage? Anyways, guys, go watch that first ride over on Mountain Motorsports channel or click that link or that card and go check it out if you haven't already. Oh, and by the way, if you get to the end of that video and you see this little Stomo graphic pop up, that is actually my production company that I do like off YouTube. That's like the pro side. Um, so don't get confused if you see that. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for getting to the end of this video if you're here and watching this, because I know this is not necessary. it's not even motorcycle related, right? It's side by side and like camera filming stuff related. So the fact that you got to the end of this video really means a lot to me and I really appreciate that. And guys, I'm Chase on Two Wheels, Outro Crew. Let me know what I should do with all that behind the scenes footage. Also, love you guys long time for always getting to the end of the videos. You guys make the channel run. You're like the engine and everybody else is like everything around it. Anyway, love you long time. You guys go and ride positive. And uh, let's figure out if I can put filming and gear camera stuff on this channel. I don't know if I can. I don't really wanna make another channel, but if I had to, if I was really wanting to, I would. I don't know. But yeah, you guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Later. My God, it's cold. Can we be done? Can we be done with the cold now?